So this is Gavarok welcoming you to Let's Play Heroes Realm. We are in the Merchant's Pass, we just killed all of the big bad guys, not that they were very big to begin with, and now we're going to see what effect that had. I'm assuming a good one, because generally, killing things that are evil is good. It's a learning experience playing with me, isn't it? You did it! The pass has been opened for the merchants to ship their goods. Thank you, Zenris. Thank you, Zenris, for opening in the pass again. This will benefit Norseland greatly. We're just both gonna stand here and block your way, because in terms of the game, we don't want your characters to be able to get beyond me at the moment. Later on in Chapter 5, you can go wherever the flying cow Christ you want. But right now, we're gonna sneakily block your progress. Cheap! You gonna thank me? Nope, you're just gonna say the same shit you did before we went in. Well done. How about you? You're a cabinet. You're not gonna talk to me. And I'm just gonna click on the cabinet again. Because I'm smart and I know how to press arrow keys to face the person I wanna chat to. No, I may recover from my wounds in peace. Oh! Amazing! Simply amazing! You truly are a great hero, Zenris! I'm just gonna repeat what that bloke over there said. Okay, back to Stromholm to talk to the merchant who asked us to do that in the first place. But first we're gonna beat the crap out of a bear. And a rabbit balancing on a bit of lettuce. Because that makes perfect sense. I'm doing a thumbs up right now, but you can't see it. Okay, where is he? I can't actually remember. Oh, here he is. People are buying fruit like crazy. Thank you, Zenris. Here's the reward I promised you. Received 600 gold. I am getting rich. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas? <gasps> Quest complete. <laughs> that's a nice touch. Zenris level 4 achieved. Oh, you get EXP. Oh, that's brilliant. Zenris level 4 heal was learned, which is basically cure, only heal, which is a more intelligent way to describe it. Lorelia, Zutra, and Fervan. What sap, pray tell? Lowers the enemy's defense? Yes, it does. That's actually probably going to be very useful to us. I did not know you got EXP out of that. I am very, 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 very glad. Now, I have a question. Right there. See those? Those are full of fruit. Before, when I was playing this, were they empty? Was the developer clever enough to include that? Because I can't remember. You guys can watch the other videos back and tell me. Doesn't really matter, but I'm curious. Now, I have a lot of money all of a sudden, thanks to that wonderful thing. So I'm going to go and get myself decked out. Leather armor? I can afford two of those. But I don't want to buy it, just in case I find something else later on. I will let Loralia have it, but um, Zutra, I'll just stick to the Wayfarer's clothes. It's only five points. I will get the two leather shields though, because they're a bit cheaper. You can take the leather up. I didn't need to buy Wayfarer's clothes, did I? Because I could have just swapped out for hers. I'm an intelligent person. Never let it be said that I'm not an intelligent person. <laughs> no, you're fine. It's you. You need to equip that. Cool. Now to sell some stuff I don't need anymore. That can go. That can go. That wayfarer's clothes that I just bloody well bought can go. Two clubs can go. The beast tokens, no. That's it. Beast tokens. Hmm. So they're not things that you consciously pick up. They're just things animals occasionally give you. What was the other weapon? Short bow. Oh. Apparently that's a downgrade. Even though it always hits and it's listed as having more attack. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe it's because of the fact that you have to use two hands and that would unequip a shield. Maybe they consider that too, um, too much of a loss. I don't know. Stay in the inn because we can definitely afford it. How are we going for time? Uh, five minutes-ish. We can at least journey onwards a bit if not necessarily go into another another dungeon. I don't think there is one just yet, so 
should be fine. And away we go. There is one other area to look at before we continue. After we beat the crap out of some mutated lizards who look like they're about to vomit all over us instead of just attack. Well, at least they would have if we had given them the chance. Hmm. We have a bridge and a soldiery looking bloke. Be careful wandering around the hills. Monsters attack more frequently there. Just like in every other bloody RPG ever. I was hoping to visit my sister and brother-in-law in the neighbouring country of Germania. But the East Gate is closed. No one may pass through East Gate at this time. King's orders. I'm just going to say the same thing as me mate here because lazy. Another inn that's slightly more expensive. And a sleeping lady. The king isn't letting anyone travel out of the country. Kadana is at the centre of the world. It is far to the east. Kadana is a big city and we don't get to go there until chapter 5. But once we do get to chapter 5 it'll pretty much be our hub I'm pretty sure. And it's not similar to Canada at all. <laughs> okay, this is the only way left to go since the Merchant's Pass won't let us through, the East Gate won't let us through, and you bastard attacked me from behind, you bastard bastarding bastardy face. Okay, rather than bore you with this, I'm gonna pause it. And he ended up blinding all of us, and it took forever to hit him, and it took forever to finish the fight, and I just want to stab something until it dies! Oh! Hey! Look at that! We got caught by surprise again! For the second time in a row! <laughs> Isn't this game fun, everybody? Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Okay, I'm good now. Mostly because these ones are actually dying, which is a welcome change from the red cabbages. Come on. Okay, now that was just mean, and that was mean too. But that was okay, that was a little bit better. I still sort of want to take your firstborn child and, like, eat him. Yeah, I'm strange. Ooh, we have a little shiny thingy up there, and those guys are purple. Why are they purple? Purple is not a general colour for a thing that's alive. I wonder if they get bullied by all the other monsters. Just for being purple. That'd kind of suck. And then here we are stabbing it in the face, that can't help. Hmm. Hello. This is the shrine that houses the teleportal to North Island. But the power to the teleporter has been drained by some mysterious force. I will need a new dilithium crystal. <laughs> wow. To recharge the teleportal. So, this thing? Zenris stands on the teleportal. But nothing happens. I wonder why. I assume it has absolutely nothing to do with what she just said to me. Locked. Again with one of those mystical doors that we're not going to be able to get to for a very long time. I'm pretty sure that's a shortcut that leads to Chapter 5 areas, which means in Chapter 5 we'll be able to get back to Norseland through that way. Also, meow. Moon Herb. What's that one again? Cures Numb. So basically it smacks you right in the feelings. Nice. Oh, and our next town, which is good because we're reaching about stopping time, I think. Uh, we've got maybe a minute. This is Helminsk, I'm pretty sure. It's late. What are you doing lurking around town at this hour? Uh, mostly because I just happened to arrive now. Zed, Zed, Zed. Huh. That's useful, everybody's sleeping. <laughs> Maybe I shall come back here during the day because that's when it's probably going to be more interesting. Yeah. I'll see if there are changes to the dialogue for coming in during the day. In open? Yeah, that's open, but I don't really need it at the moment. Okay. I shall leave it here because we're in a pretty good position to save and end, and I might 
grind up to level 5 maybe before you see me next. So, I shall say fare thee well at this point. Fare thee well. <laughs>